he identified and we tried to clarify it is this lack of contact and possibilities for innovation and experiences regarding technology. We saw that there are no projects to create new platforms. The problem was really identifying people who are experts and have knowledge and have a practical knowledge and or theoretical knowledge of these solutions, but also to find out where the innovating experiences are. We can see that networks are already created, but there's not much awareness regarding these networks. We shouldn't create more networks, but we have to see how to use the ones that already exist. There are many, there, there's a lot of information, but not much time to look for this information. So this is the problem. What we discussed, basically to summarize, was how to leverage these existing networks. We need guides. Um, sometimes there is a person or elements or some technological solution which allows us to navigate through all this complexity. And when you find the person or the place where you find these solutions, like the question is, who can can guide me for this specific problem. This is what we have to build and solve. We need to look for people or teams that can organize all this information. There are some aspects that they need to know. What are the institutions that are working on specific issues? Have a bank of innovative experiences, have short videos with a common structure indicating positive aspects and negative aspects or deficiencies of certain programs or certain projects. Have webinars about lessons learned, uh, which allow in a short time to know what it is all about, and then having experts who help us organize it. So one of the things we saw as possible solutions was creating maps which let us uh, know where these people are. And we didn't advance much on the next steps, but we can do that later. So that's it. Thank you very much.